like we have a goat traffic jam up ahead. Shahi Mosque in Sitral, Pakistan. some tombs over there. Chitral Fort. <laughs> Built by the Qatar Dynasty three the Qatar Dynasty King three hundred years ago or so, oh. and then the British laid siege to it, and finally they negotiated a surrender. So we're here in the uh, bazaar in Chitral, just taking a stroll. We're looking for a camo packall hat, so we'll see what we can come up with. You know what? I don't, I don't think that's a real Pizza Hut. I don't. I think don't think so. that's a real. <laughs> it's got a hat. Like it's like there's a yeah, red hat. It's a red hat. Yeah. But it's not a pizza. It's not a. I don't think that's legit. Now that is one big balloon. <laughs> and there's bananas like everywhere. Everybody selling bananas. Another tea shop. But you know, they taking to the shops, you know? They're asking oh. two cups, three cups, so they serve. Barely cleared those wires, too. So here we have a man making bags of nasswar. So we were successful in finding his camo. What do you call them? It's a pack hall hat. And I uh, wonder if I could get a little feather put in it, too. Well, you could ask. They, they, they're That's like a, a clip. Yeah. Yeah. So. so it's a little small for my big fat head, so. Has to make it bigger. So they're going to make it bigger. He's got some kind of system for doing that. So we'll see how that works. Still a little bit small. So he's he's actually stretching it out on his knee. He's doing some kind of surgical work on it there. 400 rupees. So okay, we'll try that. 
Okay. Is that good, huh? That, that feels good. Perfect. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. I am styling. All right. Thank you. Got a barbecue place here. Those burgers look a little, a little shaky. There's some fish over there, same. This looks pretty good, though. Wow, how clever is that? <laughs> that is really cool. Just tilts the fan on it and away you go. Awesome. Oh, that looks delicious. The dinner here is always fresh. Just buy it right here. Take it home and cook it. all coming down to the river to drink and it's pretty cool there's oh anywhere from six to ten over there and they're just making their way down to the river to get something to drink there goes there's, there's one. a yeah. little one yeah and so what do they do they come down like at the same time every day every day between um i think four to five Look at this, our sitting room. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. So beautiful, well decorated, really, really classy. Yeah, it and really look is. Look at our view. How do you walk the sitting room? Stunning. And look at what we get to look at this evening and wake up to tomorrow morning. And we got a corner room too, so. Yes. Look at the beautiful gardens. And there's, of course, the Hindu Kush Mountains. Polo is really big here. I guess this is the, the birthplace of what a freeform polo, which basically means you can do anything you want to get the ball. Then we have the bedroom area. Beautiful, beautiful bed. Once again, another lovely patio. Very That's nice. Very nice. And then there's a there's two bathrooms here. So very nice place. Lovely hotel and we're gonna have dinner at eight o'clock tonight. set up but most it's it's only one item in the buffet for the entree so <laughs> but it's really good it's a lovely dining room we had breakfast with a couple of birds that are waiting for us to leave I don't know if you can see them up in the trees up there it's, they're interested we're heading up, up the chatral this douche road which apparently is one of the most beautiful in the world and we'll be passing through um, a couple of great big mountains one called the Tirishmir and the Bonizong and my enunciation of these words <laughs> is not the best no she's not the best <laughs> me neither we, we will be entering the Yarkund Valley at the top of which lies the Afghanistan's Wakun uh, Wakun Wakun yeah. Corridor yeah Wakun so Corridor it's going to be a fabulous fabulous day yeah I've always wanted to see the Wakun Corridor. I don't know if we'll actually see it, but yeah. I've always wanted to travel there and, and do that do that trip. So maybe someday. Most of the day will be spent in the car with yes. um, just enjoying the scenery. Right, right, right. So look, our, our birds have shown up. They like the cereal. 
Um, so tell us a little bit about what we saw last night before dinner. That was quite interesting. Well, as we came in, we noted that there had been a new, bill, a new bridge built and it was closed and apparently has been closed for the past month awaiting for the Prime Minister to come and open it. But the owner of this hotel got um, determined to open it, so he had a delegate of people and they got together and as we watched fireworks from our room, not knowing what was going on, um, he opened the bridge. So we get the privilege today of crossing it, one of the first people to cross the new bridge. There it is right there. It's right over that rooftop over there seeing a wolf who has become a friend to the hotel. Apparently as a baby, he was, um, he was deserted as his mom was killed. And he was brought to the hotel as a little tiny puppy. And they fed him and let him remain in the wild. But since then, he comes every single night and they give him food and he kind of terrorizes the outside. He steals cushions and Kleenex boxes and takes them back to obviously his little den, wherever that might be. <laughs> but he visits every night. He plays with the, the local dog here and he's become a friend of the resort. <coughs> it was right in the, right in the, the garden area here. It was unbelievable. This is the, uh, the lobby area. It's all, all these really interesting photographs and, and nice furniture, old, old pictures. Um, this is the owner here, this gentleman here with his father. And we actually had the pleasure of meeting him last night at dinner, which was really quite interesting, very fascinating. And uh, these are some carvings from the area of uh, Kalash, actually, where we were at yesterday. I'm sure it would have been nice to have an extra day here, but we have to press on. And, uh, and and believe it or not, we're the only we're the only guests in the hotel last night, right? Yes. And there's a cute tea bar here. This would be a really cool place to hang out for an yeah. evening. Have a nice tea and relax. Yeah. Really neat. There's a photograph, I believe, of the owner here um, receiving some award from Paris. Oh. Huh. He got handed the key to the city. Um, Prince Michael of Kent is looking on. Wow. 